What is up, everybody? My name is Kevin Tiscool One. I'm bringing you guys some more. Everybody's gone to the rapture now. We are out here and during Lizzie's story. That looks like a dead body. Oh, God. Wrapped up in a bag. Uh, sorry for that burp right there. I've been chugging coffee this morning like a freaking mastermind. Okay, so oh, I don't, I don't get like what are these homes? Like don't get me wrong, like this is oh I guess this is a camp area. That's right. My I'm trying to get to the uh, the waters, so I'm gonna assume that one's locked too, and I'm just gonna move on my way. Maybe you think people tried to escape via uh via canoes? Maybe I don't know. People got really desperate. People were Stephen's idea was just run along the fucking train. Which is horrible, horrible idea. Uh, I could never go through with that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this, everything is beautiful. Tell me where to go. Show me, show me where it is. Where'd you go? Oh, what's up? I mean, oh, I guess I'll go in here. Whoa, look at this area. Oh shit. I wish this was a real thing. Well, I mean, I wish it was, yeah, it is. an American thing. I don't, I've never seen one of these before. They must be well up at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right, that's me. Short leash. Kids up half the night, bloody teething. Missus will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, Ned. No. I So apparently the scientist did something good now. Cool, I'm down. I'm down with that. But no, the only time I've ever seen like a soccer thing like that is is like at an actual indoor soccer place, not one just kind of outside. I mean, I guess this is a camp area. Second time I've forgotten that, and then had to say it again out loud just to remind myself. I hope I don't find anything in here. What's that noise? Things come from over here. Sounds like human voices. Whoa, what the fuck? What is going on? Oh, I see him, I see. I'm just gonna refer to it as her. Because I feel like it's the spirit of Kate, is what it is. Or it's like something. It's like Kate's memories. Leading her. So I'm gonna call to her now. Where are we going, bud? Where are we going? Oh, what's up? No, left. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <laughs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Oh, he's clever. You got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him, so I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan, the kids love it, it'll take their minds off things. And did you see that? I didn't even see that. Was it like a flash of lightning? <coughs> oh, <gosh. coughs> oh my lord. Ugh. Those were some aggressive sneezes. That actually like hurt my nostrils right there. Uh, so I'm uh, so that right there, the fact that those are her campers, I think she is Mrs. Graves, and then Rachel is a part of that camp, but Rachel's 16 years old. So I don't know what age group these campers are. But hey. Who am I to judge? Also, I like the way I went. 
going towards this camp area. I'm down. Maybe it swings around anyway. Because, you know, like, earlier there was that section where the, there was the three roads that cut off into different directions. I'm kind of vibing with this area over here. I'm there. Okay, so the waters are really fucking close. Awesome. So I think I go down this way, and then I take a left. Uh, at the next left, I can. Is that... Wait, hold on. Is it over here? Yeah, here it is. All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. I just wanted to say really quick, this book is probably soaked right now, and that's really a bummer. I hate when that shit happens. Okay, so I'm... I'm just trying to get up to the water. Where's the water at? No, there's reception, and pool, and laundry, and tennis courts, and shit. Whoa, is that a canoe out there? What is that? Is that the Loch Ness Monster? What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa, do we see that? Look at that. You can see there's two of them. It's like this weird shadow reflection. Whoa. That was some trippy looking shit right there. So was saying, uh, it's like if you have any symptoms, blah blah, report it to the camp counselors, blah blah, blah like watch for something, blah blah blah. It was, it was coming over the intercom, the large speakers. Ooh, can I get on this thing? Oh, I'm not allowed to swim. That's a bummer, but that looks really cool still. I'm, kinda, I'm glad I made it down here. This is a cool area. Oh, I'm gonna head that way. I'm gonna just go straight, following the river. Also, I'm surprised that's kept up. Then again, coals burn. Coals burn for hell is. So mad props. Mad props to you, coals. Because you know, you got... Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. That's... I'm just noticing little things here or there. Nothing really Dutch... Oh. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober, he'll be alright. Do you want me to go and look for him? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's really cool. It's like they're not there, but they still, like, move things, and things operate when the memories are happening. It's very interesting and very cool, and I'm totally down with it. Uh, so I guess Rachel just works at the camp, and she'd be a good mother at some point, is what I know from my friend uh, Lizzie. She's saying also, tons of dead birds, what the fuck is up? What the fuck is up? Tons of dead birds, I don't know. I don't know. I'm... Most of the houses you can enter into or stuff has open doors already. Has cracked open doors, so. They did a good job of that. You know? Because you could walk around and check every single fucking door and it would take so long. But thankfully they were nice enough to, to give you a, a great hint. What's going on here? Oh. Hello, Catherine. It's Kate. Elizabeth? Lizzie, I've heard a lot about you. 
It's good, you know, you and him, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. He moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth... But I... Lizzie, please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. It's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best, then. What the actual... Oh, shit. I just, <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> what the actual fuck just went down right there? Oh, my God. What sort of crazy shit? Another story? Unless I'm not going down that way. The, the, the gate is cracked though, buddy. I guess another story is when I start over there. Maybe not. I just wanted to look at this really quick. Oh, so I guess if you wanted to walk around the entire lakeside, you could do it from there. Alright, we'll go over here. It seems like there's another story he wants to tell me. She wants to tell me. I decided it was Kate. Now nah, we're going, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Holiday makers. Huh. Hum. Oh. Would I be considered a holiday maker? I could not tell you for sure. Alright, well, as we're following this little trail here, I think I'm just going to end the episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and please have a good rest of your day. Bye!